it's adventure time on the bench we have several ktm 950 fuel pumps one with a aftermarket control one that's still oe um wires are shorter than usual and this amazing contraption uh it's safe it's fine so basically fuel goes into runs down here goes into the pump suction side that's safe don't need a clamp pressure side there's a clamp um, comes along here and goes into this variable orifice very fine adjustment unit right there and then this hose goes back up into the top of the tank. Why, you may ask, am I doing this? Well, a customer of mine who, this is actually his pump, was in the midst of, of uh, the Mexico, and pretty sure that this quit. So, uh, I want to verify before I start tearing into stuff. I don't even know if that pump's good. Um, it may not be, I think it's actually off of one of my bikes that failed at one point in time, but figured I'd set up this test rig and see what happens. So, um, come along for the ride. See if I can position the camera so that you guys can watch. Um, as the, the flames come out and maybe even you can see the, yeah, you can see the gauge right there. Okay. So. Let's, uh, so right now I've got the valve open, so it should just free flow. I'll turn the fuel on at the petcock of the tank. Turn the pump on. And, oop, it's making pumping action. All right, so this pump functions. And it is capable of pumping from where it's at up. Um, total height is, I'd say, two and a half feet. Um, and you can tell it's, it's kind of struggling a little bit to do that. But um, I mean, if I was to take this to the height, kind of standard height. Obviously it gets easier for the pump to actually move the fluid and it starts ticking faster. So that's normal operation. And I would say the height of, the difference in the height is about what I'd typically see in a standard application. So I'm going to hang this back up here on its very safe perch because I don't have anything else. All right, so as I start increasing the restriction of the valve here, I'm seeing just under a pound of pressure starting to put a restriction in place. Starting to see a little bit of oscillation at the and zero flow, and I'm getting about pound and a half, pound and three quarter. Okay, so that's kind of suppose the standard technically it should stop and that leads me to believe that potentially there's something not quite right with this pump internally so open the valve back up actually I don't think I want to do that I want to close it because I want to keep all the fuel there do that well it did turn off that's interesting So, 
no liquid fuel pump off. Okay, so let's see if we can manage to change out the pumps without making a huge mess. <laughs> yeah, good luck. All right, um, let's get that out of the way. They always go on easy. There's going to be a little bit of spillage as I transfer this over. I'm going to make sure that I'm going into the right one. Yeah, that goes into, that goes into a little bit of foam. Well, I guess it'd help if I turned it off. That works. Okay. So there is now liquid fuel in the area. All good. So, I didn't know that this had the aftermarket pump driver on it. Um, we thought that it had the original points set up on it and that is clearly not the case because that's not stock so uh, let's move this out of the way and let's connect the ground which is I should say that the negative and if you're wondering yes I have a fire extinguisher right behind me and I know how to use it hopefully I don't need to use it um, get that cleared off okay so valve open Valve open. Okay, so this pump is pumping fuel. Actually, pumping it better than the other one. Let's put a restriction on it. Okay. So, interesting. So I put a stop to it, and it's actually sitting at three pounds of pressure, which leads me to believe that potentially This pump, it's not the same finish on it. It may very well be that this is an aftermarket pump and it's set for three pounds, which is right on the edge of too much fuel pressure for these engines. Um, so it is still functioning as a fuel pump. And with a little bit of a restriction, it's still handling it. And the hope for one and a half pounds is not actually the case. It keeps pumping at two, and so it's Two and a half, two and a half to three. I thought that maybe it had some internal uh, check valve problems. That's definitely higher pressure than.
the other phone. Okay. So then that begs the question, what caused the problem in the desert? Which sounded like um, it was running out of fuel. Um, yeah, it's definitely, it's three pounds. So uh, I got to tear into, I've got another one. This one right here. That did have another style of aftermarket driver on it. And this one failed on me out in the middle of nowhere. But thankfully I was carrying a spare. Um, but I want to take that driver, put it on here see what kind of fuel pressures we see. Um, I know this is a KTM part. Um, I suspect this is something else, I don't know. Um, I'm just saying that based upon the, the uh, finish. So, who knows? Um, more to come as I work on figuring out old fuel pumps with crappy points and somebody's aftermarket electronic design. Hey, have fun. Talk to you guys later.